Uh, the bottom line, and I think what um, Jamie has said, uh, you know, mothers and families shouldn't have to fight so hard for the health care and the respect and the support that they deserve. Uh, right now, uh, it is uh, almost, uh, uh, you know, there's a... Um, Berlin Wall of uh, ignorance almost uh, out there and this modern uh, you know province and uh, the cities we live in yet uh, there's almost a refusal to acknowledge that uh, we have to do much better in giving uh, mothers and uh, families uh, the um, the respect and the uh, support services and the medical support that they uh, so rightfully deserve. And it's not happening right now. And uh, that's why hopefully out of this uh, initiative here, we can start to uh, break down this wall, uh, which is, uh, I think, causing undue uh, health issues, uh, and uh, just uh, not knowing uh, why, despite all the modern technology, we still have so many uh, pregnancy and infant losses in uh, this world of, uh, you know, digital medicine. I mean, we've just opened a new digital hospital up at uh, Keel and Wilson, the uh, Humber River. Totally digital, uh, it's totally state of the art, but yet every day uh, uh, mothers, uh, families suffer infant loss and they don't know why. And like I've asked the question, I've said, how many infant laws and pregnancies are there in Ontario as compared to New York State, as compared to California, as compared to Sweden or England? Well, they don't really know. There hasn't been any research done. Uh, and what are the best practices uh, that are deployed in different countries that we could deploy here? Uh, what can we do better? Uh, which hospitals have the expertise, which don't? Uh, as you said, I think, uh, where do you go to find this out? It's uh, almost, uh, unless you have uh, involvement with the Pale Network or you're at Mount Sinai, there is expertise, but then some family, mother with a, a child uh, loss in, um, in uh, you know, Cornwall, Ontario, what do they have there? Who do they go to? Uh, so we've got to uh, bring this to the attention. and. Uh, and hopefully the media won't be afraid and so reluctant to talk about it. I mean, I just can't understand the silence of the media. Uh, whether they're not interested, uh, they're too busy, but I think the media reflects the public. We almost are afraid to, or not comfortable in talking about it. So we just can't blame the media. We have to look at ourselves and the medical community to do more, the ministry officials, so that's what hopefully this uh, proposed legislation will do. It'll certainly push all of us to uh, get this equal uh, attention and uh, help uh, in this uh, very, very, uh, uh, you know, challenging uh, field of uh, health for, for mothers uh, and their families and the infants that they carry. So, uh, and uh, in ending, I, I want to thank all of you who came uh, the mothers, uh, the fathers, uh, the uh, three wonderful spokespersons that were so articulate here today. And, uh, and I just want to say that uh, I am very optimistic that we can break down this wall uh, with your concerted efforts to let people know about this bill, to encourage people to, I'm going to have petitions ready. Uh, to call your MPPs, to call the Premier's office, uh, call the Minister of Health, let them know you want something done. Uh, and uh, I think they will respond if we uh, are out there uh, letting them know we need this help. So, uh, and even in the process of getting through the legislature of this l bill itself, we're going to succeed uh, uh, in getting uh, s help to mothers and families uh, who suffer from in experienced infant loss and pregnancy. So uh, this is a, uh, I think, uh, a very optimistic uh, uh, journey we're going to be on uh, because of the strength of you all. Uh, I can see that we're going to be uh, successful. And I, I just, uh, uh, you know, will do everything I can uh, with your support to, to get this uh, wrong uh, 
and this uh, wall broken down, this wall of silence has got to be broken down, and we need everybody's help to do that. So uh, thank you all so very much for being here today.